All glories to Sri Guru and Sri Gauranga, Dandavat Pranam to all the devotees. So one devotee was asking a question about who is the Guru of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. Um, we know that Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur uh, thought that whatever literature he has produced to refute the Sahajayajam which was practiced in the name of Gaudiya Vaishnavism, he, not, he has not found anybody qualified to uh, make that teaching reach to the masses and continue that conception in this world. That's why he prayed to Yogamaya Vimala Devi at Jagannath Puri to send a soul who can continue this uh, type of conception in this world. So by the grace of Vimala Devi, Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada appeared in this world. And Sila Bhakti Vinod Thakur asked Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur to take initiation from the uh, Gaur Kishwatas Babaji Maharaj. He has received the initiation from Gaur Kishwatas Babaji Maharaj. But uh, Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Sosa Thakur always considered Sila Bhakti Vinod Thakur as his main guru from whom he has received all the conceptions of uh, the Gaudiya Siddhanta. So he has considered Sila Bhakti Vinod Thakur as his Siksha Guru and thus in our Guru Parampara there is the photo of Sila Bhakti Vinod Thakur is there. The photo of Bhaktivinoda Thakur is not there in our Guru Parampara because Bhaktivinoda Thakur is the father of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. Uh, many people have this misconception. Actually, uh, our Gaudiya Sampradaya, it encourages the uh, connection uh, through Siksha. Uh, it is not giving so much emphasis on Diksha. Diksha is a formal connection is a formal um, way of receiving uh, spiritual, uh, what you can say, uh, direction from a Vaishnava. So sometime in a disciple's life, the same Diksha Guru may train the individual with all the conception. He can act as both Diksha and Siksha Guru or in other circumstances, some of the close associate or the individual who is connected to Guru uh, or a Vaishnava, great Vaishnava, he can train uh, the disciple uh, of, a, of a particular Vaishnava into the proper conception of uh, that uh, particular line of Vaishnavism. So in the Gaudiya Sampradaya, we give more emphasis on Siksha line. <coughs> Sriman Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was teaching Krishna Consciousness to Sanatana Goswami and Rupa Goswami, he was not uh, telling that I am teaching what uh, Ishwar Puri, his Diksha Guru has taught. He was saying, whatever I have learned from my Siksha Guru, that is uh, Raya Ramananda, I am teaching you that conception. Similarly, Rupa and Sanatan, they are disciples of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Acharya of this Guru Paramparas, uh, by receiving Siksha from Mahaprabhu, not Diksha. They don't have any Diksha connection. Same thing we will find uh, many Acharyas like uh, Baladevi Dhabushan. He has not received any formal initiation from Vishuna Chakravarti Thakur, but he has received Siksha from Vishuna Chakravarti Thakur and he has been, con he has been considered as the main Acharya in our Sampradaya and he has given the commentary Govinda Bhasya of Brahma Sutras in our Gaudiya line. Same thing we will find in Bhaktivinoda Thakur's life. Uh, even his Diksha Guru is not there in our Guru Parampara. Many of our great Acharyas Diksha Gurus, they are not in our Guru Parampara. Uh, but uh, the line from where they received Siksha that is represented in Guru Parampara because uh, we have uh, been trained in Gaudiya Sampradaya to give more emphasis to the uh, 
substance than that of form. The formal thing that is not so uh, central point in Gaudiya Vaishnavism. The essential thing, uh, what is that uh, of which our devotion is made up of, that depends on our conception. So Srila Bhakti Thakur received his diksha from Bipin Bihari Das, but his uh, photo is not there in our Guru Parampara. But he has received all the uh, essential teachings and conceptions from Srila Jagannadas Babaji Maharaj. That's why his photo is there in our Sampradaya and we uh, look our Sampradaya in that uh, lineage uh, of uh, Acharyas, succession of the Acharyas. So this is one of the most important thing we have to understand if we are really practicing Gaudiya Vaishnavijam. Nowadays people have forgotten all these things and they are giving too much emphasis on only some formal initiation and they are not giving any emphasis on the proper learning of uh, teachings of Gaudiya line uh, from a qualified Vaishnava. Actually, Srila Eshi Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada he has told uh, publicly, uh, there are audio recordings are available, that he has received Siksha from Srila Bhakti Rakshak Siddhartha Goswami Maharaj. There is a Bengali recording also there where he says that his Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, uh, wanted uh, uh, Srila Siddhar Maharaj to train him uh, for his service as an Acharya. And also in the Bengali uh, one, uh, recording, he is telling that Saraswati Thakur told to all of them that in future Srila Bhakti Rakshak Siddhartha Goswami Maharaj will save the, uh, our devotion. That's why he has taken Srila Siddhar Maharaj's guidance so seriously and he sent his followers to Srila Siddhar Maharaj for guidance. And Srila Siddhar Maharaj in all his books, he has emphasized our line as Siksha line and he has not given any importance to outward practice of devotional life such as Bratas, uh, uh, Tapas, uh, uh, mechanical chanting and uh, mechanical uh, execution of service and uh, uh, what you can say vast distribution of books uh, and uh, many uh, grand temple constructions all these things was not his focus his focus was all about thinking his essential teaching was simple living and high thinking so we can know a individual's progress from what level of thinking that individual uh, is having and uh, not what type of dress or what kind of you know external behaviors or all these things that he displayed. A real Vaishnava can be recognized from the kind of uh, uh, what you can say his uh, dedication and uh, teaching uh, towards uh, the uh, his previous gurus in the line of Gaudiya Sampradaya. Without that, uh, the superficial representation of uh, our connection in this Sampradaya, that is not what our Acharyas have thought. Thank you very much.